If you guys know me, you know that I've built a lot of castles in my time. And today, I'm going to be giving you my top building hacks for castles to help you build your castles. And if you enjoy any of these tips and tricks, please leave a comment below for which one is your favorite. Also, guys, this ratio is absolutely disgusting. So go subscribe and leave a like on the video if you enjoyed. And let's not waste any time. Let's just get into the building hacks. Alright guys, so once you've found some inspiration for your castle and you start your building, the first tip that I suggest adding to your builds is making sure you're using some type of stone and wood. It really gives the castle feeling because that's typically the materials made in a castle. Tip number two is going to be to use an A-frame style roof, which is what you see right here. And if you need more help on that, just look it up on Google. Next, we have two tips, and the first one is to make a colorful roof, like you see here. The second one is to add texture. See, it's not just red concrete, it's red concrete and wool. And over here, I have multiple variants of stone all mixed together in the wall. I know we're going a little fast through these guys, but just pause the video and look at what I'm talking about and you'll be able to learn from what I'm building. Once again, guys, we have two tips. And the first one is to use walls as the spikes on your castle, just like you see here, and to use buttons on the front as detailing. They both are really cool additions that help add more detail to your builds. Moving into our next tip here, guys, and that is to add circles and squares. Don't just stick to circles or squares. Make sure you have towers along with boxy shapes in the build. Moving into what I believe is tip number eight, and that is to outline your windows like this and frame them up. It makes them look so much nicer. All right, guys, now we got a few tips for towers coming at you. The first one is to slope up your tower. See how it gets more steep as you go up towards the tip. That's what you want to do with your towers. The second tip, guys, is going to be adding these outlines up it with trap doors and stairs. It really makes the tower look interesting and you can do it with any type of wood and trap door. Finally, we have this anvil tip trick. You do an anvil, wall, fence, and iron bar all the way to the top and it makes the tip of the tower look really fancy from far away as you can see. Another thing I want to mention, guys, is you will get better with practice. Your first castle will not be your best. And as you continue to make them, you'll make better ones. Here we go, guys, with another tip. And that is on your roofs, add in extra windows like the one you see here. Smaller or bigger also works. This is just an example. Also, guys, if you want more tips and building hacks, make sure you subscribe for more. I'm planning on doing a video like this every week. So stick around for that. Moving into our next tip for castle building though, it is this, adding multiple towers within each other. And you can see I have one large tower in the center and I added a smaller tower on the diagonal side of that. And then I'll go around here and add another one on the left side and yet another one on this corner. And this just adds more complex shapes to your build and adding multiple towers together really helps. Just keep using the same tips. You see all of these towers are built using the same exact strategy, yet they all look different because I vary their height and where they are on the build. Moving back over to the other side of the build, guys, this tip is pretty good, and that is to add extra shapes where you need. See right here, I thought I needed a little piece of a building here, so I just put in a small little tower off to the side, more of a balcony than a tower, really. Over here, as we start this next section of the build, you can see I've reused tips I've already used, such as framing windows and adding spikes to the tops of the towers, just like that. Next tip, guys, is going to be to add roofs into your towers. And as you can see right here, I added a miniature A-frame roof at the top of my tower just to mix up the towers a little bit and change things from what it already was. And I'll make this into a window. I finish off this tower and the others by adding in the wooden strips and the spikes at the very top. I then add in an extra roof in the back here and again another tower. It's a good idea to add in as many towers as you can in decent places and in the corner of roofs is always a good one. And here we go guys with another tip, maybe our last, and that is to fill in gaps. And I saw this little space back here between the two towers that could be filled in to make the castle look more full. So just filling in places like that is a really, really good strategy. And you can see that tower I did different from the rest. And those are going to be the last few things. So on screen, I'm gonna put all of the tips that I demonstrated in the video. I would suggest taking a screenshot of this so every time you go to build a castle, you can look back and make sure you hit all these points and use all of the building hacks that I talked about. If you made it this far in the video, please leave a like and share it so that we can get this video out 
to more people. And if you like this style of video, let me know. I plan on doing more just like this. So thank you so much for watching. And if you do build any castles using any of these strategies or hacks, please send them to me over on my Instagram at Lemon Slice. The link will be down in the description. If you DM them to me, I will put them on my story and give you a shout out for using my tips. So again, thank you guys so much and I'll see you next time. Comment which tip was your favorite.